Scott James, are you there? I am here, sir. Not seeing you. Oh, no, really? Oh, there we go. What? That's way better. <laughs> what year is it? I thought it was 2023 uh, technology here. Oh, man. I love the new look, by the way. Uh, I've been rocking it for a little while. I haven't seen you for a long time. Well, over the COVID lockdown, my kids found pictures of me from the 80s, and everyone had a good laugh at it. (laughs) Pictures of Papa over the years, and they got the biggest laugh out of my mohawk I had back in the 80s. So I thought, yeah, you think that's funny? All right. (laughs) Laugh away. And uh, so I got that going. A couple of years, actually. I think that's just my haircut now. The Nick Kershaw look. I love it. (laughs) My Google Photos memory that popped up today is from October, 12 years ago. It's a a few shots from what I guess would still have been the Forge back then. You were there with Sean Vareau, and you're going to be back at the exact same place next month. Welcome back. I look forward to being back. It's been a minute. How did the last three years or so or 300 or whatever it was go for you? Well, you know, the last couple of years have been really hard. Uh, COVID notwithstanding, you know, our our original bass player, Gary Lowe, passed away a couple of years ago. And uh, man, that that really derailed the train for us. And we really had just been on kind of on just on a drip, you know, just like trying to keep keep a purpose and, and decide why we're doing it and how we're going to keep doing it. And why would we even want to do it? I, you know, I mean, there's been a lot of existential questions like that when you lose a, a guy like that. Um, and recently, you know, like all the guys in the band, like our kids are really tight and Ben Lowe, Gary's son is just a little older than my son. And he's old enough now that, uh, I mean, he's a proper musician all on his own. And he called me and asked if he could have his daddy's job. I was like, oh, I'm like, hold on now. (laughs) Now, hold on. That's that's a good idea. So there's been a few years. uh, You know, we got started with that just before COVID. And then we just, you know, kept that conversation going. And we've been together. And there's been a lot of mentoring and rehearsing and getting him ready to do it. But, you know, now it feels like the Big Sugar DNA is alive and well. Mm. Because, I mean, I can, there's lots of good bass players. I can teach them the notes to play. And that's fine. I mean, it would be an okay show, I guess. But, you know, this this kid's carrying on his dad's legacy. It, it has a different weight to it. So I think people will find on this tour, if you haven't seen us in a minute, it it really feels like like the real big sugar for me too believe me it, it's a it's a blast it's a real blast for me to get up on stage and feel that feeling i thought i could never have again you know must be a little bittersweet as well i imagine a little but uh you know to me it would be worse if just nothing was happening mm. if nothing was happening with gary's memory and his legacy and that music and all the things that we did to be able to keep it alive and, and like to breathe life into it every night and and bring people that that vibe that that it's a thing only big sugar does yeah so to, to me it, like i said it's it it's breathed new life into it and and really given us a, a mandate and your drums guy came to you via uh black crows and b52s what a score that is well actually you know since um we we toured with joe last year uh, like I said, you know, we've sort of just been on a maintenance kind of a program for the last couple of years. Now Big Sugar's a power trio. I got Gary's kid on bass, and Benny wanted to bring, see if his his homeboy in Winnipeg could uh, could audition for the band. Now his friends, Ben's 23, his, his buddy Root is 21. I'm like, okay, so you no, know, you tell me is I'm going to have a band with a 21 year old and a 23 year old <laughs> 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 like those are the ages of my kids I got, I got that at home um but man i tell you what he those two guys got together worked on the music on their own up in winnipeg i flew to winnipeg and i never in my life thought i'd be playing 
my music that's older than they are by a decade um and to be making that music come alive again with guys who are discovering it for the first time and they have that fresh enthusiasm and they want to know the history and dig into all the influences and stuff that, you know, we kind of took for granted at the time we were doing it because we were just guys of that age doing what we thought was cool. So they, for them, it's more like a history lesson too. Um, it, it just makes the show so, I don't know how else to describe it. It's like supercharged Big Sugar or something. Heated is 25 in September. Uh, way to hang in there. Great job on the reissues. Love it. Yeah, Universal did, did a killer job. They they did an amazing job on the Hemivision reissue, digging a hole and all that. Uh, yep. That vinyl turned out so beautifully that uh, as soon as Heated, you know, once the calendar uh, tipped over for Heated, like, oh, come on, we we got to do a Heated. And they, they've just done an amazing job. The vinyl sounds phenomenal and those are records that were never committed to that analog format initially so there's some science that you you got to go through to make that sound good yeah. on vinyl and man they really have done an amazing job all the folks that worked on it the artwork's beautiful the original the album cover that big double album colored vinyl it's 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 a real keepsake man i i just love what they did with it well, it's been far too long since we've seen you. Uh, we really appreciate the fact that you and the crew uh, took the time to come into the station and play for us a few times as well. That's uh, That was excellent. Maybe we can do that sometime again in the uh, not-too-distant future. I would love that. I would always love uh, an in-person, but I don't mind looking at you on the, on the Zoom call. Oh. But, uh, <laughs> you know, we should, we should mention to people that, you know, with the heated anniversary, uh, we've geared the show toward that where... We don't have an opening act on the tour. Big Sugar is doing two full sets. We nice. play the entire heated record. We, we go put on, uh, you know, have a little costume change, comb our hair, and come out and uh, and do a whole other set of other hits and jams and favorites and more, you know, recent stuff, whatever. Um, but yeah, to be able to do a two set presentation is a real uh, it's a real treat. So people can really hear that heated material. Like I said, coming alive. Well, we're looking forward to an evening with and an evening with Big Sugar. Travel carefully, and we'll see you soon in Victoria. Right on. Good to talk to you, Scott.